So we've created a course, we've created sections, and now let's create a lesson. So we just go over to Courses in WordPress, click on the Lessons menu item, and let's add our first lesson. And remember, we're just building this off our outline here. So our very first lesson is called What is Lifter LMS? So that's our lesson title. And now let's add some content. And let's also use the featured video feature, which will throw a video at the top. And now let's hit preview. And we can see our lesson here. So now let's head back over to our course. and go ahead and add our first section and lesson. So now let's add our first lesson to the first section. So we just go to add lesson and this is a little autosave feature you can see here but I'm going to go ahead and be in the habit of hitting update here. So now we go to our course, we can see our first section and our first lesson. And when the user's done with this lesson, they can mark this as complete. And if we go back to the course page, you can see our course is 100% complete because we've already we've only got one uh, one out of one lesson here. But now let's go in and just add all our other sections and lessons, and I'll show you what that looks like. So let's go ahead and add our remaining sections and lessons. We come down here to the course syllabus area, and the first thing we want to do is add a new section. You can see it populates right here. And installation is our next section. And upload and activate is the next lesson. And this section has two lessons. So the general settings tour. And then we're going to move on to the next section, which is Learning Management System. You can see I've jumped ahead and added all my sections and lessons. And it's really easy too if you ever need to, you know, move a lesson around. You can just, you know, reorder visually like this. So now, if we go look at what our course looks like, just refresh this page here. You can see our progress bar, we're at 7% because we completed this lesson. And you can see all our sections and lessons. And just to show you some more advanced features, let's jump into this upload and activate lesson. And as we scroll down the page, you've seen how to add a featured video to the top or an audio embed code from places like SoundCloud. You, you can of course also put content up here into the main WYSIWYG editor of WordPress. And as we scroll down, we can also activate prerequisites. So this lesson is our second lesson. And let's say we didn't want you to have access to this lesson until completing this lesson. 
what we would do is select the prerequisite and mark the previous lesson as a prerequisite. So you would have had to have complete the previous lesson before you could see this. Also, you can set uh, drip content. So if you don't want this lesson to be accessible until three days after the course begins or the set start date, you can set that here. And that's it on a quick tour of lessons.